most people think of your element as a microphone and a stage, but there's more to you than that, right? Yeah, I mean, I like all the elements, but I think Earth is my favorite. Earth? Oh, kind of like Earth, Wind, and Fire? I like that too. All right, here it is. Your other element. You know, just as your element, many people associate as a microphone or a stage, but then people are going to learn about a garden also being your element. A garden is also an element of a local church. In fact, it was 19 years ago this month that this church, Fox River Congregational Church, started. And we first met for four years at Capitol Cinema Theater just down the road. And I never will forget when we purchased this 32-acre track, parents would drop their children off at this very spot for Sunday school, and they would go to the theater for worship. And that very first year, before we built a church building here or were able to actually use this property for ministry purposes, our Sunday school kids, they took this ground and they created a garden. And the garden that they worked with that whole summer it was used to donate the proceeds of the garden to the hungry. That honored God. And what we have this morning is an opportunity to learn how a garden and the vision of a musician can be used for kingdom purposes to help people who hurt, especially musicians who are hurting in this time of the coronavirus. Enough of the garden element for the church. Carmen, I want us to hear your story and the vision you have for how this garden can be used. Hi everyone, my name is Carmen. I'm a musician, a vocalist here at Fox River Congregational Church in Pewaukee. And just briefly, I did grow up on a farm in Iowa and so I love, I love fresh vegetables. My mom was a master gardener. And as a kid, I can't say I appreciated gardening that much. I loved eating the vegetables, but now I really am excited about gardening and our food source, where it comes from. So um, to start with, we have amazing soil. A friend donated 10 cubic yards of this organic soil from a local, um, a local place. And I've had lots of help getting the gardens ready so far, cleaning them up, planting, and uh, from friends and family. Um, so. I've been drawn to this church for the message, for the people, and also for the beautiful place that's here, being a nature girl. There are, you, there's a, a place you can walk and pray. It's a, um, what do you call it, Lonnie? You have the name for the, the path, the meditation Bible It's a faith path. walk. The faith walk, it's beautiful. Bible verses, there's a pond, there's orchards. And I thought, I really want to get involved with gardening again and maybe we can use this project as a fundraiser for the music ministry to help the church out since there's not always funding. Um, funding is tight for a lot of places, a lot of churches. And so this is my idea. We can tell you more about it. And my idea is for how we can raise funds and how you could get involved physically and uh, as well if you want to come help out. One of the difficulties in this interview with Carmen was I have to stay away from her social distancing wow it's difficult because by nature human beings we like to interact and be close to each other this coronavirus has really affected us all in many many ways but one group in particular is the professional musicians in fact when this whole thing started that was the first profession that they were out of a job large performance venues quit and many professionals are saying that actually performance venues will be the last to get going again. So the livelihood of these artists, these musicians who bring so much pleasure in our lives and beauty to this world, they have lost their source of income. We want to be part of that solution because we treasure and we value the honoring of God in the arts. And so the musicians had this idea, let's have a garden, let us work the garden, let us do all that we can to provide a means to where others can join us and we can provide a support stream for those artists. And so Carmen is going to let you know how you can also help in this garden and become a beneficiary as well. Carmen? 
Yes, we would love your help. Uh, if you're interested in gardening, we could use lots of volunteers. Honor the master in how you use your MasterCard. Make Jefferson proud before you place his face. Let's support this ministry and help these musicians. And in doing so, God is glorified. Ultimately, we would like to sell the produce. That's a lot of work to be done. How are we going to get it done? That's easy. There's a link below. Click on the link and all the information will be there about how you can donate your time, how you can sign up to volunteer, as well as how you can donate financially and how you will eventually be able to eat these delicious vegetables. Let's add some water and have a prayer. God, we thank you for this garden and for the opportunity that it may be a means of helping people. We thank you for this opportunity to be a part of your solution. Amen. Amen. Hey, Carmen. Yeah. Remember your baptism? Yeah.